I've asked Billy to sing a song that is entitled Dust on the Bible. And I hope that you don't have dust on your Bible, that you read your Bible daily and you meditate on the Word and you learn what the Bible has to say and to teach you. I went into a home one day to see some friends of mine. Of all the books and magazines, not a Bible could I find. So I asked them for the Bible. When they brought it, what a shame. For the dust was covered over it, not a fingerprint was plain. Dust on the Bible, dust on God's holy word, the words of all the prophets and the sayings of our Lord. Of all the other books you'll find, there's none salvation hold. So get the dust off the Bible and redeem your poor soul. can read your magazines, read of love and tragic things, and not one verse of scripture, not one verse do you know, when it is the very truth, and its content's good for you, get the dust off the Bible, and redeem your poor soul. Dust on the Bible, dust on God's holy word, the words of all the prophets and the sayings of our Lord. Of all the other books you'll find, there's none salvation hold. So get the dust off the Bible and redeem your poor soul. to help along life's way just tell him that the good book shows a mortal how to pray the best advice to give him that will make his burden light is to dust the family bible trade the wrong way for the right dust on the Bible, dust on God's holy word, the words of all the prophets and the sayings of our Lord. Of all the other books you'll find, there's none salvation holds. Get the dust off the Bible and redeem your poor soul. That was a good song. A that good is, message of that song, right? That is a good song, yes. And uh, instead of reading our, our magazines and, and other things, we need to at least spend some time reading the Bible. And there's nothing wrong with reading other books and magazines, not at all. But uh, we need to read our Bible and learn how to live a good Christian life.